other day I got a question of how I stay consistent and continuously show up for myself. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I do that and how you can incorporate staying consistent within whatever you do and how you can consistently keep showing up for yourself in 2024 and beyond. Honestly, I just feel like showing up for yourself is nobody else's responsibility but your own. To get to wherever you're trying to go and become whoever you are trying to become or be, this is gonna be all on you, homegirl or homeboy, okay? One of the things you're gonna need to do is start to build more trust within yourself. I've seen someone talk about this and I truly believe that this is true and that this is very, very important is building up that trust within yourself. Having that doubt within yourself is not good. You need to erase that and trust yourself. Trust your intuition, trust your inner gut. You need to be building a track record with yourself that you can actually look back on so that you can have proof that you are very capable okay one of my favorite ways to do that is by doing this little creative jar technique where I actually have these like slips of paper and this is like a great manifestation technique as well you cut up whatever goals short-term long-term goals you're trying to achieve put them on a board and whenever you hit those goals you can put them in the jar or another thing that you can also do is to every time you do something or achieve something great it can be something Something just as simple or just like a happy moment in your life you put this in your jar so that at the end of the year you can go back and look at those pieces of paper and be like man I've, I've achieved so much I've done so much and you can just trust yourself and know that you are capable so there's different ways you can do this you can do this with your goals or you can just create a jar if you just want to kind of like look back at um, things or positive things that either good or bad I mean it's up to you in your life that you can just look back on and be like oh, I remember those moments so Keep a track record that you can always look back on. This is gonna help you to stop self-sabotaging and really, really just believe in yourself. You need to set clear goals, break down the goals, and give yourself a deadline, as well as have someone there to hold you accountable. So I think a lot of the times we can get discouraged if you have this really, really big goal. One thing that I had to learn is to take my bigger goals and break them down into smaller goals, take the smaller goals and break them down even further onto what I have to do every day, daily. Three things that I have to do every day to get to the smaller goal that makes that gets me to the bigger goal when you break it down it makes it so much easier and so much more achievable to actually get to that bigger goal versus just looking at this bigger goal and being very very intimidated by it because you just feel like you're never going to get there so you have to actually break down your goals into smaller goals while giving yourself a deadline because i feel like if you don't give yourself a deadline you can kind of like just like push it to the side procrastinate or forget about it so this is another great way to get things done in like you know a timely manner but at the same time working within your intuition and kind of like your you know your inner intuition you don't want to just force things I know especially creatively I don't like to just force a lot of things so try to balance the two with a deadline and creatively or just intuitively when you feel like is the best time to kind of reach that deadline or when you know you should be getting things done find somebody to hold you accountable whether that be a, your parent your grandparent a really really close friend a mentor somebody you need to find like a different tribe a community find people that are going to hold you accountable so that way you are not just slipping off and you are staying consistent and you are continuously showing up for yourself because that is just super duper important and i feel like other people holding you accountable or just having those people that you can bounce back and forth with as far as you guys both holding each other accountable so it doesn't just feel like you're just the only one that's being kind of like pushed into this you need to be doing this thing is a great thing to have and it will definitely help you with staying consistent and helping you to continuously show up for yourself so like I mentioned earlier, I like to do one to three things a day in my day that is going to get me toward the goal. But if that is just a little bit too much for you, do one small act that builds toward the bigger act. Like I said, I just feel like it helps when you just kind of like break things down. So if you can't hit 
two to three things a day try at least one small thing and there's a i think it's in atomic habits i haven't fully read the book but at the beginning of the book they talked about just the smaller things the smaller acts literally you'll see over time how much you've achieved more toward the bigger act when you break it down and do the smaller acts so do not underestimate the smaller acts of getting things done to reach the bigger goal another one just show up for yourself especially if you're like a content creator an entrepreneur anything of that sort but just in general and you just feel like you are having a hard time either showing up in front of the camera or just i don't know you're kind of like just hesitant because you feel like you're not ready you don't have the money you don't have the look yet you're not put together this and that there's always some type of excuse of why you can't get started i think the best way to be consistent and to consistently show up for yourself is just to do it as you are in your present moment wherever you at in that time whether you are still living at home or you are working a nine to five still or you are don't have the money like or you're not exactly where you want to be or you don't feel like putting on makeup to create a video like don't put on makeup just get on camera as you are you don't have to become perfect so i think the number one thing to being consistent is just showing up every day even if you're off camera just showing up and doing that one thing doing those two things like that is when change comes is when you just show up as you are and don't you know don't put so much pressure on yourself i also want to recommend for you to not isolate yourself do not isolate find a tribe i have a tribe they are amazing my friends that are actually influencers and creators as well as well as my family and my hometown friends that i'm very cool with or just finding some type of community i love online communities as well but find a tribe try not to isolate yourself too much i think isolation can be good to a certain extent but you definitely want to again find people that can hold you accountable find people that you relate to because it's just going to make showing up more and showing up for yourself an easier process when you have those people in your your corner and just people that can relate to you and are going through the same things that you're going through so yeah find your tribe and less isolating more community building and finding your community let's remember that rome wasn't built in a damn day okay <laughs> give yourself freaking grace I don't know if I'm oily because I this is like my second video of the day so hopefully I'm not looking too oily on here but give yourself grace and you need to ignore anyone who thinks that you're supposed to become the microwavable version of yourself I think a lot of people doubt themselves because of other people at the same time judging and making them believe or think that they should be somewhere by a certain age or a certain time like people have these certain expectations that you're supposed to be this because this or what whatever society says and i think we need to stop doing that and you need you also need to realize that you are fighting against an unnatural system as well a system that is in fact oppressing a lot of us and making it hard for literally everyone so grace is what you need you need to give yourself grace and just stop being so hard on yourself stay in the present moment and stop being so hard on yourself and you can also actually go check out my mental health video um things that can help you improve your mental and physical health as well that will also help you as well so you can watch that video after you watch this one but yeah don't 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 be so hard on yourself give yourself a little bit of grace you deserve it okay i'm not saying to be lazy and like not try to achieve things and just say oh whatever like but you do you should definitely give yourself grace and when it comes to showing up for yourself and like don't beat yourself up you beating your own ass and i don't think you should do that so yeah just give give yourself a little grace and it'll be okay so i need you to do the three two one countdown method i think i believe it's the three two one or five two five three two five four three two one it's one of them but countdown i think it was mel robbins i think she came up with this method i think that's what it's called but anyways we can come up with our own little method if you like procrastinate or you like hold yourself back or like say you're on your phone and you like you need to stop scrolling and you know you have something to do or you need to go wash the dishes or you need to go write a script or you need to film this piece of content you need to do something so that you can start a process or something you need to go three two one and then just stop doing whatever you're doing get up and go do it 
I think that was the process. But yeah, supposedly it's supposed to help. I, I've done it before and it has helped me. So yeah, you need to do the countdown method and so you can really get to it. And yeah, try that. Try that out for size and let me know how it goes. <laughs> Have some self-worth. It doesn't matter if you're not seeing the results that you want to see at that time. Everything comes with timing and patience. If you're not seeing the results, you need to love yourself enough to know what you deserve and keep showing up until you get those results. Will the results come if you quit? No, they won't. So you're gonna quit or you're gonna keep going? Because I mean, I don't. I feel like if you quit, you, you just, you, you take your L right then. But if you keep going, you, you you never know what's on the other side. So I think the best the best thing you should do is keep putting in the work until you get those results. Keep showing up no matter what. And no matter if it's you're not getting the views and it's cringe, you need to just keep going. No matter if you're not getting the sales and you just feel cringy so marketing yourself, you need to keep showing up, keep doing it no matter what even if nobody you feel like nobody's watching nine times out of ten somebody probably is watching i'm pretty i'm pretty sure somebody's looking they might not be liking they might not be commenting they might not be buying but they're watching or they're thinking about buying so just keep showing up okay another thing that one of my friends had drilled into my head i had to get this i had to get this locked into my brain because i was just literally a scrambled egg okay I was all over the place. Um, some days I am still a little bit all over the place. I'm still working on it. I'm not 100% there yet. But commit to habits, commit to routines and practices, even when you, even when you don't want to, even when you don't feel like it. Routines literally will save your life. When my friend used to tell me, "You need a routine," I just shut up. Okay, I'm a Gemini. I don't need a routine. <laughs> But I think I've incorporated small habits into my daily routine that have definitely helped me. Um, every day is still different for me because it should it is, but I do have like a now like a morning routine and yeah, it's just pretty much what I do is pretty consistent. Um, like I said, every day for me is different. As a content creator, that's just as a content creator, it just is what it is. Um, because I film so much different types of content but for the most part I make sure to have some type of morning routine and night routine and work around my routines based on whatever my toddler has going on <laughs> because that's always a different thing being a mom it, you just never know what can happen you can have a poop explosion and, not, and then I have to bathe her in so but for the most part I've tr I've tried to schedule out my morning and my night routine. So yeah, and just incorporating different habits like making sure I'm incorporating skincare cuz that's um something that I didn't really do a lot of and like journaling and meditation and so incorporating little habits like that can definitely help. Um and again, just showing up. So yeah, commit to those things and that will definitely help you to stay consistent and show up for yourself because you definitely want to feed and take care of your own self as well or even just like these are just examples for me but just like committing to making a reel a day or a youtube video or committing to certain days i'm gonna do things you know what i mean so you just have to commit to your routine another thing i want to mention is that never feel bad for feeling the feelings that you feel feel whatever feelings that you feel without upset you know feel them but don't label them as bad because they're not bad that's how you feel those are your true authentic genuine feelings and that is okay you want to let all that emotion out i will recommend journaling feel a feeling without feeling bad about how you feel so yeah i just want to mention that another thing let yourself start over if things have just not been working out for you go back to the drawing board start over rebrand however many times that you have to i don't think y'all understand how many times i've had to go to the drawing board and it's just life it is like things are constantly switching up changing so never feel bad for having to start over give yourself that grace to start over within whatever it is like if it's a brand if it's a business that's not working out and you have to pivot and start over and try something else do that and don't feel bad about it it's perfectly okay as long as you're showing up and 
stay inconsistent, you still have a chance because you're still in the game, honey, okay? You're still in the game. We also want to practice self-forgiveness. Forgive yourself for where you thought you were supposed to be, for not showing up, for not doing the things that you said you were gonna do, for getting off track. Like Whatever you feel, forgive yourself and stop making yourself feel so bad. And again, stop beating your own ass. Okay, so forgive yourself, do a little woosa, a little breather, and it's gonna be alright, okay? It's going to be okay. To continuously be consistent and to continuously show up for yourself, like I mentioned earlier when it comes to like the habits, incorporating habits and stuff like that, you need to really take care of your basic needs. I feel like if your basic needs are not met, it's going to be hard for you to want to consistently show up and be consistent for yourself because you're going to be sad. You're going to be, you know, you're not going to be feeling like your best self. So make sure that you're incorporating self-care and like taking care of yourself. I feel like that kind of like a given, but but if you're not taking care of you, it's really going to be hard for you to have that confidence to even want to show up and put out the energy into showing up for yourself. So the first most important thing is going to be just taking care of your basic needs for yourself. And while we're talking about that, another basic need is to give yourself permission to rest, okay? Take a damn break. You don't always have to be. I mean, even though we're showing up for ourselves and we're being consistent, you're just gonna have to take breaks. You're not gonna, you're not a machine. You're not a robot. Hustle culture, I think people are like eh, getting rid of it because it's just like, I love how Gen Z is like not for hustle culture. I really think that it is toxic. It's not really healthy. I love how everybody is kind of just like showing up for themselves. Like I said, int intuitively, you know, you can still be consistent without having to feel like you're on a, um, what's called little like the little belt <laughs> machine belt being consistent can be showing up two times a week or like as long as you're still you know at it and you're still going and you're still showing up i feel like there's different versions of being consistent i think somebody just talked about this as far as like with youtubers which i'm going to talk about that in another video but consistency could be showing up once a month showing up like scheduling a time that you're going to show up four times a month or whatever for whatever that you may be doing within your business or in your life however whatever works best for you again you have to do what's best for you but as long as you're consistently putting in the efforts to do what you have to do to become the person you're trying to be and to reach those goals you're in the money okay you're good so don't burn yourself out because you feel like you just have to be on be on this hamster wheel 24 7. give yourself permission to rest give yourself permission to take a break and to again reset and recharge because that's super important if you don't then there is you're not getting you're not gonna get to where you need to be if you don't give yourself your mind and your body rest listen to your mind and listen to your body just show up so i seen a quote that said do it sad do it happy do it angry do it heartbroken do it miserable do it excited do it energized do it tired well we just talked about getting your rest but do it still <laughs> um do it confident do it discouraged do it anyway and i feel like that is probably like the best quote for showing up for yourself literally like just do it again show up as you are i love that quote so much like i think that pretty much explains it like literally just do it like nike say just do it so promise me that you're going to prove to yourself you got you no matter what so yeah those are just a couple of tips on how i consistently show up for myself how you can consistently show up for yourself and be consistent in whatever it is that you're trying to do whoever you are trying to become remember again it's nobody else's responsibility but yours to show up for yourself to make you happy to reach whoever you are trying to be nobody else sees that vision but you so yeah you have to do this for you but yeah that pretty much concludes this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you want to see more like this one don't forget to like the video drop a comment and let me know what are some things you do to consistently show up for yourself and what is one thing about yourself that you're proud of comment that in the comments below because i want to know yeah and until the next episode next video i love you and i will see you at the time peace I'm currently showing up my, for myself on a Tuesday morning at 3.05 a.m. in the morning, January the 23rd. So, we get after it. <laughs> if you don't show up for yourself, who will? Because if not you, then who, baby? I need you good.
make it do what it do. Just saying. Gots to be more careful. <laughs>